move on. That's something we've been trying to do all year, to move a little closer to normalcy. But we still ended the year with more COVID deaths than last year. And a whole new variant that's threatening our holidays once again. There were more school shootings. And of course, a deadly line of tornadoes that cut a scar across the nation's midsection in December. Not exactly common. So much for normal. Broadway, though, reopened, cautiously, and with it, a new revival of the groundbreaking musical Company, although still reeling from the loss of its creator, Stephen Sondheim. No one here to guide you. Now you're on your own. From Into the Woods... To follies. No wheels of anyone, meaning anyone, To Sweeney Todd. Sondheim was one of the most influential composer lyricists Broadway has ever known. A standing ovation to him. I used to think I was going to buy the world back in those days. <laughs> Cicely Tyson left us after decades of powerful performances. We have a very strong son that elevated the lives of black Americans and their stories. I wanted to address certain issues, and I chose to use my career as my platform. And how did you go about doing that? Just simply ruling out what I wouldn't do. Of all her roles, the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, she considered her most important. Other fighters, like Gloria Richardson, pushed aside a National Guardsman's rifle Lucille Times staged a one-woman bus boycott six months before Rosa Parks. And they both lived long enough to see Colin Powell reach the peak of politics. He was the first black chairman of the Joint Chiefs and national security advisor. And later, President George W. Bush's secretary of state. People look to you and they trust you because you're serving selflessly as the leader, not self-serving, selflessly. To all of those who served our country, abroad, and at home, we salute you. Fastball is a high drive in the deep left center field. Buckner goes back to the fence. It is gone. Hammering Hank Aaron served America in uniform, too, surpassing Babe Ruth as baseball's home run king. What a marvelous moment for baseball, for the country, and the world. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the Deep South for breaking a record of an all-time baseball idol. I just thank God it's all over with. Thank you very much. Yeah, but he's got it away in the goal. He's got to get out of the way. And we can't forget Tommy Lasorda. As manager, he took his beloved L.A. Dodgers to two world championships and four pennants. You're a happy, good man, Tommy Lasorda. I love every day of my life, Larry. Larry King loved every day of his life, too. To you, my audience. With his signature suspenders, he reigned as king of the TV interview. And I'm, and I'm on, on my way, way to, to heaven. heaven. But he wasn't really royalty. Not like this, anyway. Britain's Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. He cut a dashing figure by his wife, Queen Elizabeth's side, for royal weddings and funerals defending the monarchy for nearly three quarters of a century. To sleep, the chance to dream. Christopher Plummer was royalty in his own way. But he'll always be remembered as Captain Von Trapp. Even if he wished he was remembered for something else. Have you ever sang Edelweiss in public after that? I mean, you were hoping I might sing it for you here now. I don't know. Um, it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> he won his first Oscar at age 82. Christopher Plummer, Beginners. You're only two years older than me, darling. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> to you, Captain, Al Feederson. Another captain left us this year, the Love Boat's Captain Stuby played by Gavin McLeod. Hi, sweetheart. Piloting a cruise ship was quite a promotion from the struggling writer he once played. Murray, 
Come into my office. Being bossed around by Lou Grant. Sit down, Murray. <laughs> I'm already sitting. Sit down, I said. Sure, Lou. Of all the roles Ed Asner played, Hi, Mary. the gruff, hard-working newsman on the Mary Tyler Moore show was really his favorite. You know what? You got spunk. Well, yes. I hate spunk. Because, he said, everyone on that cast was family. Lou, uh -huh. I really admire you for having the nerve to stay here after that humiliating experience. That included Cloris Leachman. Stay close to the candles. The staircase can be treacherous. Also a memorable part of the Frankenstein household. I am Frau Blucher. Except for the horses, she made everyone laugh. As did a chorus of other actors to whom we bid a fond farewell. Do you love him, Loretta? No. Good. When you love them, they drive you crazy because they know they can. Olympia Dukakis won an Oscar playing Cher's mother in Moonstruck. She was 89. What do you scrumptious You're at me. scrumptious. Sally Ann Howes was truly scrumptious. We lost her at 91. Look what happened to my fox. Someone cut off his little foot. And we lost Jessica Walter, too. I love all my children equally. I don't care for Joe. She played one of the worst and funniest moms ever. I'll be in the hospital bar. Uh, you know, there isn't a hospital bar, Mother. Huh? This is why people hate hospitals. <laughs> oh, that's touching. That's downright moving. That's what that is. Up yours. George Siegel was a powerful, dramatic actor. I give up. But he came to prefer lighter fare. And he was good at it, right up till the end. I don't want any old dog. Jane Withers found humor in being a brat. I'm gonna chop. But later in life, she was known as Josephine the Plumber in good-natured commercials for Comet Cleanser. New Comet gets out stains when other leading cleansers can't. Try new Super Comet. It's the fishing invention of the century. Ron Popeil could sell almost anything. We'll put this blade in like so. Look how easy it takes the corn off the cob. He invented gadgets to solve problems we didn't even know we had. It scrambles an egg while it's still in the shell. And sold them. It's just four easy payments. By the millions. His inventions will be cluttering our closets for years to come. Spencer Silver invented that slightly sticky glue that ended up on the back of post-it notes. So remember to thank him. The game of life. And we lost the creator of the game of life, Reuben Klayman. He died at 99. Maybe helping entertain people is the key to longevity. There's only one way that you can always look young. Hang around with very old people. Comedian Jackie Mason had us laughing until he was 93. His thick Yiddish accent brought the Borscht Belt to Broadway. It was the first show in the history of Broadway without furniture. There's no furniture in this show. <laughs> what has it got to do with a show? When you go to a furniture store, do they show you a comedian? <laughs> That's my best joke, mister. <laughs> comedian Mort Saul was one of the first to make us laugh at politics. The official portrait of the president, which shows him next to a globe, uh, with the troubled spots of the world marked in black. He's standing next to this black globe. That's what I was going to We lost him at 94. Man is really the most interesting jackass there is. Hal Holbrook became the living embodiment of Mark Twain over the years. He's the only one that's got the true religion. Several of them. He loves his neighbor as himself and cuts his throat if his theology isn't straight. <laughs> He died this year at 95. When I look back on what is a long life, I think how lucky I was. It was just luck. When it came, though, to staying power, Norman Lloyd had the mole beat. He started out with Alfred Hitchcock back in 1942. Seventy years later, he took a turn with Amy Schumer. I was the first person on my block to own a television set. At age 100. And he was ready for more. What are robots? You coming? Go! He died at 106. Farewell to him. 
So many, however, weren't as lucky to live that long. Suzanne Douglas died of cancer at just 64. <laughs> well, if it isn't little Carrie Bradshaw. We lost actor Willie Garson to cancer, too, at only 57. All in the game, yo. Michael K. Williams. All in the game. Who first strode into the limelight on the mean streets of Baltimore as Omar Little in The Wire died at only 54. Henry, I don't know how to dance. What? And Peter Scalari. That's it, yeah, there you go. Bosom buddies with everyone, it seemed. Every once in a while, you just point, you know? Was only 66. Farewell to him and all those we cheered on screens large and small. Melvin Van Peebles' gritty, funny, and shocking films revolutionized black cinema. Photographer Corky Lee gave us pictures of Asian American life, often left out of the history books. <laughs> Italian film director Lena Wertmuller broke new ground for women, the first to be nominated for a Best Director Oscar. She died this year at 93. And Helena Hutchins had just started creating her own view of the world as a cinematographer when she was killed by a prop gun on a movie set. She was only 42. Dream, 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 dream Music can help heal from loss. Don Everly died this year at 84, seven years after his brother Phil. Their sweet harmonies made them teen idols back in the 60s. Hey, hey. The Monkees were 60s teen idols, too. Never mind the group was made for TV. Mike Nesmith, the quiet monkey, died this year at 78. As drummer for the Rolling Stones, Charlie Watts was the quiet one with a sweet, shy smile, keeping the beat right there in the back. As co-founder of the Supremes, Mary Wilson was rarely front and center, but she was always there. A true dream girl. Farewell to her. And to Chick Corea, who fused jazz and rock and Latin and even classical music into his own unique sound. He died this year at 79. Earl Simmons, better known as DMX, transmuted his troubled soul into rap music that spoke to his generation. He died this year at only 50. The troubled souls of vampires were Anne Rice's specialty. She brought the undead to life on film and in books. She died this year at 80. And Joan Didion wrote brilliantly about the world she observed and the culture of the times she lived in. She died this past week at 87. I was a children's librarian, and a little boy said to me, where are the books about kids like us? Another author, Beverly Cleary, wrote her books for children. She created a host of lovable characters, including a motorcycling mouse named Ralph. The Very Hungry Caterpillars creator, author Eric Carl, left us two this year. He was 91. <laughs> All of those who entertained us, however, left us with a smile. Famed conductor James Levine's career ended when sexual misconduct claims arose. Legendary music producer Phil Spector died in prison, doing time for murder. Mr. Liddy has no comment. G. Gordon Liddy, who masterminded the Watergate break-in, died at 90. Mr. Madoff, what do you have to say for yourself? And goodbye to Bernie Madoff architect of one of the most audacious Ponzi schemes ever. He died in prison at 82. Lucky for us, there are crusaders out there seeking out wrongdoing. You are taking a position against the very security that you are selling, and you are not troubled. Senator, as I, again... And you want people to trust you. Michigan Senator Carl Levin was one of them. It's Schoolhouse Rocky, the chip on the block. 
While we're up on Capitol Hill, remember Schoolhouse Rock? I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. We can thank songwriter Dave Frischberg for making the process of legislating a little more understandable. Following a lonely bill all the way up the chain to the White House. It's about the Civil Rights Acts that opened doors. Walter Mondale lost his bid for the White House to Ronald Reagan in the 80s. But he'd already been there in 1976 as Jimmy Carter's VP. He died at 93. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. Donald Rumsfeld served four presidents during his long career in Washington, twice serving as America's Secretary of Defense. I'm extremely proud to introduce to you Senator Bob Dole. But it was Robert Dole who ended up one of the longest-serving Republican leaders in Washington. A poor kid from Russell, Kansas, who sought his party's nomination for president several times before finally getting it in 1996. We are bound by our heritage to a set of common values. Only to lose to Bill Clinton. The statesman and veteran left us at 98. Well, just when you thought things couldn't get worse for Bob Dole, so... Weekend updates, Norm MacDonald honored Dole on Saturday Night Live in the way that comedians do. How are you, Senator? (laughs) Norm, uh... Bob Dole knows how much it meant for you to play me on the show the next four years, and Bob Dole feels your pain. He died this year at just 61. From CBS News headquarters... Roger Mudd was a very real newsman. Here at the Lincoln Memorial, the sight uh, is almost something uh, no Washingtonian has beheld before. Reporting the news with integrity and insight for over 30 years. Freedom is not just limited to 60 Minutes or the New York Times. It also means Hustler Magazine. Larry Flint was on the other side of that spectrum. He and his Hustler Magazine became unlikely vehicles to test the First Amendment. Mary in Plattsburgh, New York. Hi, and welcome to the Rush Limbaugh program. Rush Limbaugh exercised his First Amendment rights on the radio. Never shy to say what he thought. I think I just happen to be saying what a whole lot of people think but don't have a chance to say themselves. That's why they call me the most dangerous man in America. We're out of here, see? You might feel like there is a big divide in this country, but there are those whose actions have bridged that chasm, making us feel just a little bit closer. And they will have the 10th anniversary of, guess what? The chimney sweeps. Right up your chimney. For nearly 50 years on NBC, weatherman Willard Scott always found a little something to celebrate, rain or shine. Raindrops are falling on my head. When the skies get cloudy, we have this tune performed by B.J. Thomas to cheer us up. And we had more than a few dark skies over our CBS family this year. Sunday morning producer Judy Hole embodied everything this show is known for. It won't be the same without it. There is no indication at all that the big drop... We lost Ray Brady, who reported the financial news here at CBS for almost three decades. Cameraman Izzy Blackman took to the back roads with Charles Corral, and he brought the beauty of the world to us here at Sunday morning. Goodbye, friends, one and all. There are many, many more we've failed to mention. Those who delighted us with their dances, inspired us with their music, left us with wisdom, love, and the satisfaction of lives well lived. To all of them, we bid a fond hail and farewell.